To make your holidays more colorful, we handpicked the world's youngest laureate, Saborno Isaac's 10 Most Popular Quotes. Our education system is broken because it lacks empathy and imagination. It was not a mistake, it was a happy accident. And remember, all invented and discoveries start with an accident. Every child should get a chance to date with all branches of education, to be able to fall in love with the one he or she loves the most. Age does not dictate what your education limits are. Dr. Anushree LaCour was first thinking of hiring a guest professor for her physics class, but her colleagues were raising questions about the age of the candidate. And the day he came in, he amazed the students. I was that child, and I thank Dr. LaCour for recognizing that age is just a number. The students don't learn from teachers they don't like. Students. <laughs> okay. Children should not be underestimated. We should not think of them as infantile. We should we should not limit their skills based on their age. We need to reform our system, and we need to add two things to it: empathy and imagination. I call this educational reform adding imagination and love. I call it monies. Uh, named after my new book of the same name. Well, first of all, I know Thatcher wasn't very empathetic to the Argentinians. He was a leader in war, so uh, I don't honestly know what we would see if there was a woman in charge, people like that in power, and uh, I don't know what I would see, but the, uh, I don't know, but maybe uh, I, I, I would suggest they would be a bit more empathetic, but I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm not going to lean on any side, because I know that there's going to be a very hard debate. Wake up every day at 5 o'clock in the morning. Then, for 30 minutes, I read each scripture for 5 minutes. I first read the Torah, then I read the Tripitaka, then I read the Bible, then I read the Quran, and I, then I read the Bhagavad Gita. And so, I read all of these scriptures for, for 5 minutes each. Love is something that we see a lot in the mathematical and scientific community. We sometimes love mathematical ideas. But fear is also something we really see in religion. So I think that nicely parallels the religion and science thing. We cannot create a world without terrorism, without reforming our education system. For All you need is perseverance, hard work, and a dream of becoming Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein someday in the future. I think it's still worth it to develop AI because it could have immense consequences in the favor of humanity and we might just be missing out on that by stopping the, the, its development because uh, AI could help us colonize our galaxy and AI is like trying to engineer another sort of human. Uh, sure, it could have brutality, but it could also have empathy. The moon attracts your girlfriend more than you. So that's basically um, kind of an analogy of gravity. Education has produced many evils, like Osama bin Laden and Dr. Joseph Mengele. So it needs a reform by adding two things to it. Empathy and imagination. Education without empathy cannot achieve a world without terrorism. Education without imagination does not give a chance to every child to become the next Newton or Einstein. Women are sometimes turned down in countries that don't have this kind of sense of equity. So that is a very important issue. And I feel the gender equality in terms of women being pushed down is actually a very important uh, issue. And that it needs to be fixed uh, and focused on just as much as racial equality. Just because 
a teacher can't imagine something doesn't mean a student should be bound to their constraint. Just because a teacher doesn't have the amount of creativity needed for a subject doesn't mean a student should be modeled to be just like the teacher. Science is just another kind of form of art. It's observation and imagination. And we need more creative and passionate teachers. And I think we have that, but we just don't allow the passionate teachers to stay. Especially in the U.S., you will just suck all the passion out of the passionate teachers because of really corrupt educational systems. I will never say what makes you happy. I will always tell the truth even if it hurts. Remember, Galileo fought with Pope Urban VIII, and Einstein didn't try to make Newton happen. I will tell you the truth even if you threaten to put me in jail. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. The Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science. 